Hi everyone, this is Erica with Crafts Direct, and today I want to show you how to make this fun shadow box. So I picked one of my favorite pictures of my daughter, added some fun papers that match, and a couple different accessories, and I put it all together in this adorable little shadow box. So let me show you how to make it. The first thing we're going to do for this project is to cut our piece of paper apart. So we are going to cut all the squares apart, and our goal is to get to the bloom where you are planted square. Once we've got it separated, you are going to take your scissors and fussy cut around the shape. Basically that just means cut it out by hand. Next we'll take our floral piece of paper and cut it so it's 3 inches by 12 inches. And before you cut it, make sure you pay attention to which way the flowers are facing. We're going to lay all of our pieces out just to see where everything is going and then we are going to glue down the bloom where you are planted piece. Make sure only to do the bottom half of it as that's the only part that is going to stick to the piece of paper you just cut. We are going to use glossy accents again to glue down the clip that's holding the photo. So we're going to go along the clip edge and then also along that circle part on the top. You're going to take that clip and put it down where you want it on the background yellow piece of paper. Now we're going to take out our shadow box. We only want that inner part of the shadow box for now just so we can make sure everything is where we want it to be. Now we're going to grab the white lavender bush and our wire cutters and cut apart all of the stems of the bush. Once we're done cutting it apart we're going to remove most of the greenery from the stems. On some of them we're going to keep just a little bit of greenery to add some more color. But if we keep all of them, it's just too much and looks too bushy in the shadow box. We took four of the stems that we're going to use and we're lining them up just so they look cute and arranged nicely. I did notice that the stems were too long, so we're going to cut those down a little bit. Then we're going to fluff and arrange a little bit more to get the stems in the place that we want them because our next step is to tie it all together. So we grabbed a little bit of jute, we're tying it around the stems knot it, and then wrap it around a couple more times. We want enough jute on the stems because that's what we are going to secure to the back of the shadow box. So wrap around a couple times, double knot in front, and then we're going to place it in the shadow box to see what it looks like. Once we've got everything in place, we are going to trim off the extra jute strands and adhere the floral arrangement to the back of the shadow box with a little bit of glossy accents. Then comes the fun part of assembling the entire project. So we are going to lay the bloom where you are planted on top of the inner piece of the shadow box and then put the frame all together. For a complete list of all the supplies used to make this project, go to craftsdirect.com and visit the projects page.